What's going on guys, Spencer Ripken here. We're here at Hobby Action Raceway doing some practice laps. Today's video we're gonna be talking about uh, how I like to um, get my racing craft a little bit better uh, for the big races and what kind of things I do to ensure that I'm doing the right kind of practicing. I've gotten a lot of requests over the years on how I like to practice and um, I've gotten better. I've learned a lot over um, the years on what kind of things I can improve on so I know my weaknesses and um, it's something that you know as you grow and uh, develop your, your driving style, you'll realize there's some things you need to work on. And uh, that's something that I'm, the video today, I'm gonna be showing you uh, how I like to, um, you know, how you can really expose yourself to showing what you need to practice on and uh, how I like to sharpen my pencil when we go to these big races. So I'm prepared and do the best I'm able to do. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy the video and let's get right to it. So a lot of people think that running a lot of battery packs in a day and just running and constant running is something that uh, is how you get better and that's a big misconception uh, is not really relevant to like for practicing a certain um, part of the track that you're good or not good at and that's definitely something that you know if you're new to the industry or the hobby yeah sure running a bunch of battery packs is something that um, is important just to get wheel time in um, so that's definitely a, a good you know, strategy to go in, but as far as wanting to get better, working on your discipline uh, lines, and just being super, um, you know, straightforward with hitting the right lines up the faces of the jumps, downside in the jumps, uh, entering the apex in a certain way, um, that stuff, you know, running a bunch of battery packs is definitely not how you do it and get it done. Um, typically, what I like to do is I like to go up on the driver's stand, I, li I like to take my phone with me as a reference of how long I like to, well, I want to run. So I usually typically set it for around five minutes because that's how long the qualifier is. I do two warm up laps and then I start the, 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 the timer on my phone. And what I really focus on is extremely hitting my marts. Um, I don't try to go for fastest lap times. Um, sometimes it is nice when the loop counter is counting your laps and uh, you're able to see like your top five and top 10, top 15 laps when you get off the driver's stand. Um, that's something that if you have that ability to do, definitely do that. Um, I've always learned from the best, uh, Ryan Mayfield, uh, Brent, those guys, you know, were super big influences on my uh, career, um, along with many other people uh, that I can name out right now. But as far as just, you know, going down for your top five, top ten, what I like to go, um, go through is your fastest lap could be a 16-1, but your top five needs to be a 16-2. It needs to be one-tenth off your fastest lap for your top five, and then for your top 10, it needs to be one-tenth off your top five, and uh, so forth. So well, that's definitely something that I've always um, had a goal was for when you're in a big race, or at a qualifying or practice, is you want your top five and top 10 and top 15 to always be one-tenth and differences apart. And that just really helps your consistency. So if you go on Live RC and you're able to see your lap times in the practice, you'll be see your consistency, you know, is it at 99 or 98%, um, if you're able to get one tenth off your top five and top ten, top fifteen, you're at a 99% consistency base, and that's something that I really try to truly do um, and hit your marks. Um, if you're struggling with a certain section, you know that's definitely something where if you're able to just practice that one section at a time and just try to hit your marks, just go cut the track, you know, in a practice session and just keep on hitting that jump if you're messing up. Uh, it's definitely something I've always done. I don't care if it makes you look like a squid going around the track, if you're cutting the track. You know, if you just want to practice that one section for one day, you know, so be it. Just you get it done. And that's how you practice that um, consistency and um, that discipline that you need to go around the track. So um, we'll go over and talk about, you know, how I like, like to strategize my uh, runs throughout the day and um, making sure that, you know, you are getting some good valuable running and, and practice. So for today's video, like I said, we're going to be talking about the, some of the things that I like doing when I come to the practice track, how I like to um, make my racing craft better when I go to these bigger races. And it's such a big misconception on um, a lot of different things that you can do to improve your driving ability on the track. Um, the biggest thing, uh, what I like to do is I really make sure that when I come to the track and practice is I treat it like it, it's a race. Uh, when I go up on the driver's stand, I really make sure um, I'm you know, mentally prepared. Uh, the car is up to par with maintenance wise. Uh, my tires are, are not you know, practice tires, they're like my race tires that I would treat them with. And just pretty much get my phone. Um, I set a timer on my phone for about five and a half minutes, two minute warm up laps. And um, 
I set it for, for that. I go out there on the track. If you are able to put the lap counter on at your local home track, a Hobby Action always has it up um, on the TV, so I'm able to see my t uh, fast lap, my top five, my top 10, for, and my top 15 uh, for the whole run. And what I really like to uh, make sure is um, if you get a you know, hot lap of a 16.0, my top five needs to be a 16.1, uh, and my top 10 needs to be a 16.2, and so forth. So what that really shows you is the consistency throughout the long run and that's, you know, if you go on Live RC, you're able to see the consistency in the bottom corner, bottom left-hand corner of like the 98%, 99%. And for a 10 score race, if you're not in the 99% range, as far as consistency-wise, um, obviously everyone starts somewhere. So, uh, you know, initially you will work your way up. Um, but really try to focus on, on that consistency number and really start to, um, you'll start to show the results in a club race. Um, a lot of people come to me and ask, oh, you, do you just run battery packs all day? all day long and just run and run and run and honestly that's uh, for me from where I'm at in my racing uh, that's the worst that's just you know that's not really helping me get better um, basically going on the track um, and just running laps and not focusing on something to make you better as a racer that doesn't do me any good but when I go on the track and I treat it as a club race and I'm you know want to work on this one section you know I'll cut the track and just practice that one section for you know a full five minute run it might be you know kind of weird cutting everyone watching you cutting the track but you're doing it to help you and that's the most important thing is just to focus on yourself focus on your strengths focus on your weaknesses and then you go from there and you go better and better and better um, I get a lot of people again come up to me and ask you know you know how do you club how do you club race how do you practice and just focusing on those few different you know tips and uh, title you know the, the topics that I brought up as far as just making sure you come to the track, you make sure your car is prepped and ready, uh, your tires are in decent shape, you go out there and you treat it like a full-on racing, uh, racing um, class when you're at a club race or the big races. And you'll start to see a tremendous amount of improvements when you go to these big races like the Nationals, the J Concepts INS races, the Surf City, the Stock Nationals. Um, you'll see it really start to take effect. Um, I didn't start, you know, I started from the bottom, I worked my way up, um, and those are the kind of tasks that I, that I did. Um, sure, if you're coming new in the industry, you know, just getting battery lap times, just, just batteries after batteries and just practice, sure, that's, you know, you want to get some wheel time. But if you really want to take a racing to another level and become the best ver version of yourself, which anybody can go out there if they put the time and effort in and their heart, heart and soul, you know, you can do pretty much anything. Um, that's what my parents always taught me. That's kind of the mojo that I always go by. Um, and it's just something that you'll, you'll start to notice. You put your heart and soul, you do the best you possibly can when you get on that driver's stand, and uh, you just make the best out of uh, what, you, the, what equipment you have. Just because you go up on that driver's stand and you feel like your car's loose or not going, um, you not really feel like you're going that good out there, just make the best out of it. Um, it, it might not be perfect. Uh, a lot of these races that we race, um, you know, you have a bad run, and it, you just make excuses on um, that it's the tires or the car's not feeling good, and that's just the wrong attitude. Uh, by a long stretch, I come to realize that you know there's some things that I can take um, from the from that race that I maybe didn't do that well. And it's like, look, you know, you're on a good pace. I made a mistake, and um, it just wasn't meant to be. So you go out back on the next qualifier and you do the best you can. You know, focus on not making that same mistake, and then you go have a top three run. So it's you know a lot of it comes back to um, just you know the mental toughness of this industry and this hobby. It's a complete mental game. If you can think positive positive things will happen. You think negative, then guess what? You're going to be a completely a negative Nancy at the track. You're not going to have good results. You're not going to have good runs. And ultimately, you're not going to have fun when you go to the track. And that's something that I really try to um, isolate with myself is to have a positive mindset when I come to the track, have the best possible time um, at, the, at the track, hanging out with the friends. The camaraderie at these events is our are super awesome and uh, meet some new friends go out there have a good time and at the end of the day you're just driving your RC car and do the best you can um, but I hope I pretty much covered everything um, like I said you know I you know this hobby has been a tremendous um, plus in my life it's changed my life for the better it's been awesome to meet these new people around the world and then ultimately you know have a good time go out there race your car and do the best you possibly can. So hopefully I uh, answered some of your questions. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please comment, like, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you at the next one.